हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल नाउ वी विल सी हाउ टू अपलोड बीजेसी डॉक्यूमेंट्स इन टीसीएस नेक्स्ट पोर्टल सो टू कंप्लीट आवर बीजेसी फर्स्ट वी नीड टू फिल द बीजेसी फॉर्म एंड देन वी विल गेट द लिंक्स टू अपलोड द बीजेसी डॉक्यूमेंट्स एंड आई हैव ऑल्सो अपलोडेड ए वीडियो ऑन स्टेप बाय स्टेप प्रोसेस टू कंप्लीट बीजेसी and i'll give you the link in the description if you have any doubts in filling the bgc form then you can go through that link and now let's see how to upload the documents in bgc after filling the bgc form when you completed filling the bgc form then you will get the slider like this and in this slider we can see that uh, we have already completed two steps and now next step uh, uh, the next step we need to follow is uh, upload the documents so just click on the upload documents uh, below the slider and uh, we will get the page like this here they have given the instructions to upload the documents so uh, before start uploading the documents just read the instructions carefully and then click on upload documents so you'll get the links to upload documents like this and the first link they have given here is uh, for nsre card so uh, we can register this nsre card from uh, national skills registry portal and uh, uh, they have given the note here is uh, the link for this document will get uh, activate only 15 days prior to your joining so uh, after uh, it, the link gets activate uh, then you can click on browse and upload Uh, and you can upload the document there and the next one is birth certificate if you have the same then you can browse and upload if you don't have the birth certificate also you can uh, upload your birth affidavit in place of birth certificate or uh, your birth certificate might be in your regional language or any of the details are uh, wrong spelled or any mistakes are there in your birth certificate then you can use birth affidavit in place of it just print this birth affidavit in uh, 100 rupees stamp paper and you can upload it in, in the place of birth certificate here i have uploaded the same and uh, you can see the status as successfully uploaded and the next one is address proof here uh, first you need to select whether the present and permanent address is same or not uh, you can select uh, appropriate uh, which suits you and uh, you can uh, choose any one of these documents and you can upload the same uh, you, you have multiple options here you can choose any document and you can upload and the next one is aadhar card Uh, as a citizen of india we all have the aadhar card right so uh, just scan the aadhar card and upload the same in this link and uh, coming to pan card uh, you need to scan your pan card and upload it uh, but uh, scan them clearly uh, and the scan the original documents only next passport if you have passport uh, you can uh, browse and upload and if you don't have then you can apply for it and upload the application receipt also you can uh, use your acknowledgement slip instead of your passport and the next one is id proof you can upload any one of these documents you have with you you can see here you have multiple options you can choose uh, your wish and uh, you can upload the same document and the next one is 10th grade mark sheet in this link you can upload your 10th standard marks memo and when it comes to uh, 10th certificate you can leave this as optional because they have not mentioned it as mandatory right so you can leave this and uh, same for uh, 12th standard also you can upload your uh, 10th standard marks memo or intermediate mark sheet in this uh, link and uh, when it comes to 12th certificate it is also optional you can leave this and here before you navigating to next page just click on save and uh, go to the next coming to graduate mark sheets uh, in this we need to upload the mark sheets of all the semesters and uh, here when you click on select you will get this drop down like this and uh, in this drop down we can see that uh, first eight links for all the eight semesters and we can see there uh, you need to upload the first attempt mark sheet memo of uh, first semester and uh, same for the remaining semesters also then you can upload the your uh, first attempt marks memos in this uh, first eight links 
and then if you have any backlog memos like uh, if you cleared one semester in two attempts then you can upload the second memo in this backlog memo uh, uh, link then if you if you click on this backlog memo then you will get uh, browse and upload you can upload there and if you have more than one backlog memo then you can add uh, more rows and you can upload all and uh, at the end you need to upload your consolidated marks memo and next graduate degree certificate I think many of you have not get your original degree certificate so uh, you can upload your provisional degree certificate here in place of your original degree and now uh, medical certificate for this certificate also the link will be activated uh, just 15 days prior to your joining so uh, just make it uh, prepare and uh, kept it aside and uh, whenever the link will get activated then you can upload the same and uh, next uh, if you have any other certificates you can upload them otherwise you can leave these are not mandatory and uh, the last but not least non criminal affidavit you can see here the link for these documents will also get activated 15 days prior to your joining only so just uh, prepare this non criminal affidavit and keep it aside uh, whenever the link will get activated then you can upload the same so except nsre card non criminal affidavit and medical certificate you can upload all the remaining documents as soon as your bgc get activated for you but after uploading all the documents only you need to click on submit until then you have to save the documents which you have uploaded till now so after you click on submit then the status will change from successfully uploaded to pending for approval and then if they accept the documents then the status will be like uh, approved if not uh, they reject then the status will be like reject and the reason for the rejection will also be given in the last column and uh, my sincere suggestion is to you guys is uh, to scan the documents clearly because this is the only reason i got rescheduled my date of joining so don't repeat the same mistake guys uh, just scan them clearly and thank you for watching the video guys and uh, uh, if you feel the video useful for you then please like the video and uh, subscribe to our channel for more information